Hi everyone, Scott Davenport here. Well, Photo Raw 2019.2 came out today and on ones added in a very cool tool called the AI Quick Mask Tool. And I'll show you how that works in this video. Before I show you how the tool works, if you haven't upgraded to Photo Raw 2019, now is a great time. I've got an offer code for you. It's my name, Scott. Drop that in as an offer code. And it'll apply a 20% discount. And that's to either an upgrade to Photo Raw 2019 or a new purchase. But it's only available for a limited time. So if you're in the market to move to Photo Raw 2019 or make it part of your photography, now's a great time to upgrade. With that, let me explain what this AI Quick Mask tool is all about and how it works. The AI Quick Mask tool lives up to its name. It's artificial intelligence built into masking. So it's got content aware technology, looks at objects, figures things out, and makes it easier and quicker to make masks. If you've been a long time on one user, you may remember a perfect mask where you had keep and drop colors. You may remember the quick mask tool in layers. Well, it's like those two things got together and had a super baby and made the AI quick mask tool. So here is an example of how this works. I have this photo where I have added a dynamic contrast filter. I'd really like just that contrast to apply to the rocks and leave the water soft. Now I could reach for my perfect brush and do the masking manually, use the edge detection, and that would all work fine. It would take a little bit longer than the new AI quick mask tool. Now if I click on my masking icon here, under the mask tools, we have a new AI quick mask brush. I select that, you get a little pop-up here that explains what the tool does. Very simply, you paint red over the areas that you want to drop, you want to mask away, and green over the areas that you want to keep. So up here we have the mode, you have drop or keep, and we can toggle between that with shift X. Notice the icon of my brush changed to a plus, so that's keep mode, I can shift it back to drop. And one other thing I want to point out is in the gear menu, we have a couple of things here. Show heads up display, that's this little dialogue here. And so I'll keep that on the screen so we can see what's going on. Refine edge, you want to have that selected. Because so what the quick mask will do is, when you're working with the tool, it gives you a rough estimation of, this is what the mask will look like. With refine turned on, the AI will kick in once you say apply and make everything nice and smooth and fine tune things. So let's create a quick mask. I have the mode of drop. I do not want the ocean or the sky affected at all. Shift X to keep certain areas. So I'm painting green to keep this rock. And I'm gonna keep this rock as well. And then I will click apply in the dialog or up at the top in the menu bar. So the AI goes off looks at the image, does its magic, figures out what objects are there, and when it's finished, it comes back with a refined mask. And this is the first iteration of the tool. Notice that I still have the green and the red overlays. So if the mask isn't exactly what you want, you can fine tune it. Like in this case, I might do a little bit of add in here to keep that additional piece of the rock. So I'll do one little more sweep there. Make sure that's been included. I can hit apply again and the mask gets refined. You can do this a couple of times. I have not had the occasion to do this more than twice. So uh, the quick mask is doing a very good job at finding the objects and giving you a, a almost near perfect starting point for your mask with very little refinement needed to finish it off. And once you're finished refining your quick mask, press done and a couple of things happen here. First is the refine tool is activated so you can finish off refining your mask with the refine brush or blur mask tool whatever you might need to use and secondarily we now have a mask and we can operate with this mask just like any other mask i'm going to turn on the view here so we can see what this looks like and for this mask i might add a little bit of a feather to soften up these edges and grab the blur tool make that brush bigger and run that blur tool just along the edge where the quick mask figured out the different tones at the very edge there just to smooth that out. Turn off the view with the O key and now we can see the dynamic contrast before and after just to the rocks. And I did that with a couple of quick coarse brush strokes with the AI Quick Mask. 
The Quick Mask tool also works with layers. It works anywhere you can do a mask, so local adjustments, filters, and layers. So you can do composites with the Quick Mask as well. I'll show you a composite example here. I've got these palm trees here. We have our layers. I have a couple of layers in this photo. But here I'll click on the mask, open up the masking tools. We have our AI mask. Once again, we have our keep and drop modes. I'm going to drop all this stuff around the sky and I'll give the AI a little extra help by giving it a couple of clicks in these spaces in between all the different palm fronds and then switch to the keep mode and we want to keep you know things like the greens and the leaves there's some darker greens here and the palm tree trunks as well and probably this area here is a little bit brighter. Let's give that a brush stroke. We'll click Apply. And very quickly, I've got a rough mask. Let's add a little bit more on the bottom of that so we can finish off the trunk. And we'll say Done. And the AI will go off and refine that mask and then activate those refine tools for me, just like it did in the example with the filters. Now here, some of those different tones of the sky were left in between the palm fronts. That's pretty typical for a masking job with trees and leaves. That's a rough one. But the refine brush, which is my next tool that's automatically selected for me, I can start to brush in here and very quickly clean up those areas. The refine tool kind of continues where the quick mask leaves off. And so I can work through the rest of this image with the refined mask to get that mask around the palm tree looking clean and fine. Now I can activate my bottom layer and start to create this composite. And here with my top layer still selected, I can do all the normal things I would do to make a good composite. This one I probably need to downplay the palm trees a little bit. Those are too bright given the scene. These are would be backlit in this particular composite and maybe in the transform area we'd shift that over to the right just a little bit this is at this point we're, we're beyond the, the quick mask tool we're into compositing and getting things refined but you can see how the quick mask can help you get a very intricate mask done very quickly so that is the AI Quick Mask tool in On One Photo Raw 2019.2. Again, if you are upgrading and watching this video shortly after the announcement, you can save 20%. Use the offer code SCOTT over on the On One website. That'll knock 20% off the upgrade price or the full purchase price. If you'd like more On One tutorials, tips, and tricks, visit my On One Learning Center on my website. Link is in the show notes below. My name is Scott Davenport, and thanks for watching the video.